Hello everyone, this is Chandni Koyal. I am here to give you introduction to NS3. What is NS3? NS3 is a network simulator. It is developed for network research and education. It is mainly supported for Linux. It is developed after NS2. It is written in C++. It contains bindings in Python also. NS3 uses the web build system. Its simulation programs are C++ executables or Python scripts. This means we can write our code either in C++ or in Python. Main features of NS3 it is a discrete event simulator. It contains modular design. It is an open source platform. It is developed in C++. Our Python bindings are also available in NS3. It contains live visualizer NetAnim. Logging facility for debugging. It provides us the logging facility for debugging. Basically, debugging is easier in NS3 as compared to NS2. It provides us tracing facility also. It can be connected to a real network. Direct code execution. We can directly execute our code in this command prompt using NS3. NS2 versus NS3. Now, this is why we use NS3. NS2 is the main difference between NS2 and NS3 is that NS2 is based on the OTCL and C++. It is, in, it is implemented using a combination of OTCL and C++, whereas NS3 can be developed with C++ entirely. As we all are familiar with C++, so it is easier for the programmers to write code in NS3 as compared to OTCL. Memory management. NS3 is implemented in C++. All normal memory management functions such as new, delete, malloc, and free are still available. Automatic deallocation of objects is supported by NS3. This is useful when dealing with the packet objects. Basically, NS3 manages memory properly as compared to NS2. In NS2, we require basic manual C++ memory management functions. In, other, in, in short, memory management is efficient in NS3 as compared to NS2. NS2 never releases the memory used to store packets until the simulation terminates. It just reuses the allocated packets repeatedly. In, whereas in NS3, aggregation system prevents unneeded parameters from being stored and packets don't contain unused reserved hazard header space. Performance now let come to, let's come to the performance and the total computation time required to run a simulation scales better in ns3 than ns2 this means scaling according when we simulate during simulation scaling is better in ns3 as compared to ns2 and ns3 sports coupling inter interoperability good memory management, debugging of split language objects, coding in C++ and object oriented concepts as well as sports models supported by NS2 and it is most suitable for wireless networks. In NS2, bilingual system make debugging complex as we already discussed but for NS3, only knowledge of C++ is enough. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.